Hello everyone and welcome to my Star Trek and Trey YouTube tutorial. So this is what we'll be making today. It's really cute, it's quite small, um, but it's a little trinket tray and you can put like the earrings in, a little bracelet, and I have lip gloss here that kind of can sit in there too. I don't know, it's just really cute. Um, so I hope you enjoy. I do have this pattern on my Instagram if you're from there. Um, this one is very, very slightly different. And there is also a written pattern available on my Patreon to supplement this video. Um, and I post pretty much all of my patterns onto my Patreon too. Um, so if you're a subscriber, you'll have access to all of those. Uh, but no pressure, all of the instructions will be posted in the captions of this video too. So thanks so much for your support so far. Um, we'll start the tutorial now. Um, so what you'll be needing is some template acrylic yarn and a 4mm crochet hook. Okay, so to start we're going to make a magic ring. So in the tail end of our yarn and we're going to wrap it around our non-dominant hand like this. Okay, with the tail end here you should have a large loop and a small loop. So using your crochet hook you want to go underneath the small loop and over the large loop. Turn your crochet hook and pull this loop over and face your crochet hook forward. Now you want to yarn over and pull through the loop that's on the hook like so and then we're going to chain one so yarning over and pulling through the loop all right now we're going to do 10 um half double crochets so yarning over going underneath these two strings yarning over pulling through then you should have three loops here what you want to do is yarn over and pull through all three loops. So, like so. And you want to repeat that ten times going on top of these um, two yarns. So, yarning over, pulling under, pulling up the loop, and pulling through all three. Just like this for a total of ten. Okay, you should end up like some with something like this. Um, you want to take this tail end and pull it really tight so that middle hole closes up. Ugh. Okay, um, and then you can also count your stitches to make sure you have 10 if you've lost count. So looking back here, that V shape is one stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now to this 10th one, I'm going to insert my crochet hook. It might be a little bit tight, like that. I'm going to pop this just here for now. I'm going to yarn over and just do a slip stitch, so pulling through everything and then pull tight. Okay, and I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do a round of half double crochet increases. So yarning over and into that same stitch we're going to do a half double crochet and then with increases we do two of the same stitch into each stitch so going into that same stitch again I'm going to do another half double crochet. I made my stitches really tight so that's why I'm struggling a bit. Mm. Over here and then to that same stitch. Now if you find this loop opens a little bit, if the string is still hanging out, you can just pull it tight now and that should, there you go. And then we're just going to go all the way around like this. Um, you should end up with a total of 20 stitches. Okay, once you finish your second round, you should have something like this. I'm going to slip stitch. Um, to start the next round, so into the first stitch, which is this one here. It's a little bit tight. I'm going to slip stitch, so just pulling through, pull this tight. Great, now I'm going to do chain one and I'm going to half double crochet. So, as before, pulling through all the loops on the hook. Now I'm going to do a double crochet into the next stitch, so similar to a half double crochet, yarn over 
insert into the stitch, yarn over, pull through. Now instead of pulling through all of the loops like a half double crochet, we're going to pull through two at a time. So yarning over, pulling through two loops, yarning over and pulling through the next two loops. And then we're going to do a triple crochet, which is similar, but you yarn over twice. So you and start with two loops, two extra loops. Then you insert into that stitch, yarn over, pull through. And like a half double crochet, we're going to pull through two loops at a time. So pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And then in our next stitch, we're going to do another triple crochet. So again, you want to, um, three loops in total on the hook, inserting into that stitch, yarning over, pulling through, pulling through two, pulling through two, and pulling through two. And then into the next stitch, we're going to do a double crochet. So pulling through two and pulling through two, and into that same stitch, another half double crochet. Okay. And so you should end up with something like that, and you want to repeat this pattern all the way around. So we're going to start with a half double crochet, a double crochet into the next stitch, a triple crochet into that same stitch with the half double crochet, I'm sorry, with, with the double crochet, sorry, and then a triple crochet into the next stitch, and then a double crochet into the next stitch, and then a half double crochet into that same stitch and then you want to keep going um, with this pattern all the way around so a half double crochet okay so this is how we should be looking after finishing row three um, so to start row four we're gonna do a slip stitch into the first stitch and that's going to count as our first stitch. So for this row, I'm going to use a stitch marker, which is going underneath that slip stitch. I'm going to pop in this scrap yarn, just so I know that that was my first stitch for later on. Okay. And then, whoops, sorry. Now I'm going to do a half double crochet into this stitch here, followed by a double crochet into the same stitch okay into that next stitch I'm going to do a triple crochet so three loops inserting yarning over pulling through and pulling through two at a time and then I'm going to do what I think is called a peacock stitch a peacock sorry in a chain two turn the work you'll see there's two loops we call them back loops that we're going to skip that first back loop and go into the second back loop with a slip stitch okay and then triple crochet into the next stitch okay and it might look a bit weird and gapey but that's fine into the next one we're going to do a double crochet and a half double crochet into that same stitch push everything and then into that next one we're going to do a slip stitch so that's the first um, corner of the star, I guess. And um, we're going to repeat that four more times. So again, starting with a slip stitch, followed by a half double crochet and double crochet into the same stitch. And then a triple crochet into the next stitch. And then a peacock stitch, so chaining two. Turning the work, skipping the first back loop and slip stitching into that second one. And then a triple crochet to the next stitch. Followed by a double crochet, sorry, double crochet. And half double crochet into the same stitch. Okay, and we're just going to complete this pattern all the way around. Okay, so you should end up um, with something like this um, with the stitch marker right next to the last stitch. So now we can remove that stitch marker. Um, for the next row, we're going to start creating the borders of the trinket tray. So um, by starting, we're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch where the stitch marker was, pulling reasonably tight, chaining one. And then now going into the back loops. So 
each stitch is made of a front loop which is the loop closest to me and a back loop which is the one away so into the back loops so picking up that loop that's at the back yarning over pulling up a loop and doing a single crochet and we're going to do that through to all of the back loops in this row just like this now when you reach the picot stitch up there sorry there'll be a small loop and a big loop you can skip the small loop and just go into the big loop just like that Okay, um, so this is what it should look like after finishing my first row of single crochets. You can see a little border is starting to come up. We're going to do two more rows of single crochets. Um, so to start the next row, um, as we normally do, we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch. Pull tight, chain one, and then start our row of single crochets all the way around. And for these, um, you can just do normal single crochets, so you don't have to go into the back or the front loops. Um, just through both loops is great. Okay, so this is after I finish that second row of single crochets. It's sort of starting to come together. I'm going to do one more row. Um, so again, we're going to do a slip stitch into the first stitch, which is this one here. And pull tight. Chain one. And then just single crocheting all the way around. Okay, um, so I've finished the third row and I'm gonna finish off now. Um, so to finish what I'm gonna do is slip stitch into that first stitch again just here, oops, and pull through, then I'm just going to cut about this much, pull this through, and then I'm going to do an invisible joint kind of thing, so I'm going to pull this, so I'm going to insert into the, I'm going to skip a sketch and insert the crochet hook and pull this string through. And then into the um, loop where the string's coming out of, I'm going to pull this string through. And then I'm just going to hide this sort of in there. Now it looks a bit funny. Um, you just have to shape it a little bit, to be honest. Um, and then, because this is acrylic yarn, I can use a bit of a lighter to keep everything in place. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this shape I have here. So I've got my lighter and I'm just going to do these parts. This is acrylic yarn, that's why, and then this makes it kind of hard actually. So it won't move from this shape. I'm just going to do this to each. Do be careful not to burn the yarn. And you'll see all of these like fluffy bits disappear too. So yeah. Okay, so this is the tray all done now. This is me chucking it around to show that it's pretty sturdy. It holds a lip gloss over the border, so I think that's pretty good. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!